Howdy folks, this is Checkers and we're back today with Fallout 4 and a viewer question as to whether or not we could use the Protectron override program to have a hacked Protectron and an overridden Protectron. Essentially two Protectrons to bodyguard us at once. And we are going to head over and answer that question. The police Protectron is under my hacked command control to follow and we will now try and activate this paramedic protectron and have him be our escort. So I've already unlocked this terminal. I will use it and I'm going to load a holotape and that holotape is the protectron override program. Okay and now the way you do this is to first Activate your Protectron like the normal way you would from a terminal. So we'll be sure to choose a personality mode. We want him to definitely be the medical responder. We've recently seen just how strong those can be. And then... Whoops! I think I went one too far. We're going to activate the unit. Now before we exit the terminal We want to play the tape one more time, and it's from this screen that we will use the Hijack VIP Escort Protocol. Okay, and now that we're set, we can exit the terminal. Assignment. Assignment received. Escort VIP. So now we have... Sir or Madam. I will be your personal escort during your visit to name of operational area. So now we have our paramedic protectron and our police protectron. Let's see if we can get them to come with us outside the school. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the paramedic protectron is not nearly as slow as the police protectron. So if you just wanted to have one of them following you using this escort VIP protocol would um, I don't know where he went. Would probably be better. But let's go outside. Okay, so now we're outside. Let's see who followed us. Well, there is the paramedic and the police protectron. And as you can see, they are both shut down. So, let's go ahead and hack our uh, paramedic. Activate the unit, but don't command him. Just activate him and let him go. Come over to the police protectron. Activate him. This time we're going to activate the unit. And let's see what happens when we don't command him too. Let's see if they just went to sleep when they came out the door. So the paramedic is still definitely on board as our VIP escort. And it sure looks like that police protectron is coming along as well. But let's see if they will do anything to help me. And there is something moving off in the distance over there. We are still on survival mode, and that is a behemoth. So let's take on another behemoth with a couple of friends. Let's get his attention. He's an epic behemoth. Not perhaps the sharpest knife in the drawer. Police Protectron is firing. Paramedic Protectron probably doesn't have any ranged capabilities. Oh no, you don't do that. Well, law and order. Has been restored. We definitely got the Protect behemoth. I can't answer. really vouch for the uh, paramedic protectron's combat capabilities at the moment. But uh, let's see, we had five plasma cartridges, 27 45 rounds, five 5 millimeters, some kind of other stuff, Offensive. nothing important. Let's see if there's anybody else who might uh, provide our escorts an entertaining challenge. Wait, there's something over there. Super mutants. Well, let's see how that goes. And as you can see, paramedic protectron is coming along and the police protectron is making his way because he's slow. So this is probably a good chance to see what the paramedic will do. And a bloat fly. Time to switch. Okay. Oh, I 
I want to try those out. I forgot. Okay, uh, paramedic, run up there. Do some stuff with some things. Come on, Come on paramedic. They're trying to hurt me. Come on, paramedic. Do something. Do something. Do something. I'm still wondering if he's going to do anything. He's, he's definitely coming along. He's slowly making his way towards some enemies. There we go. Okay. So he will fight. That's good. Now we'll just remove all the... Uh, Remove all the hostiles and go someplace a little quieter to finish our conversation. Okay, we'll get this last guy. Oh, don't have that yet, huh? Okay. So, after a little bit of a fight, we see that we have two Protectrons who have both helped us in a fight. Paramedic White is an escort used via the Protectron override control program. Which, by the way, when I left the terminal, it automatically comes back to you. And our police protector, on slow as he is, at least has a ranged attack to help from a distance. So in answer to the question, yes, you can have two protectrons. Presumably, you could have one security escort protectron and something else, whether it was an assaultron or sentry bot or what have you. Um, full disclosure, in trying to even make this video, it took me three tries to get the police protectron to follow me here, even telling him to stay, which seems to be the most guaranteed way to get him to move. But we have... Uh, now seen that we can have two Protectrons as bodyguards, if you will. So I hope that answered the question from our viewer. So once again, this has been Checkers with another Fallout 4 video this time, looking at having two Protectrons as bodyguards. I'd like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. I'd also like to remind you that in the upper right hand corner of the video you will find a small letter I with a white circle around it. That is known as a card and it links to other videos that I have made. In this case it will probably link to other robotics expert perk videos. So I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little bit informative. Back off there a little bit buddy. I'd like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.